Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. The four victims who lost their lives this year to domestic violence are being remembered. Friends and survivors are trying to shed some light on the issue with a vigil. Roxanne Elias is live in studio tonight with why now is the time to speak up safely if you experience domestic violence. Roxanne? Melissa, concerned community members spoke up at the vigil pleading with women or men in domestic violence to stop the silence. They say that at the end of the day, you're not only affecting yourself, but your children too. The aftermath of domestic violence knows no age. It made me feel sad, um, and I just think that everybody that has went through it deserves a better life. Leaving nine-year-old Sosin Grodai in tears and speechless. She's here with her mother, Lana, who's a domestic violence survivor. It's what brings them to this vigil for four women who police say died at the hands of their abusers. One in three women will be a victim of abuse in relationships, and that's entirely too many. Uh, we see abuse from verbal, emotional, psychological, all the way through physical, sexual, and ultimately homicides. Ashley Darrington. She was a devoted mother to two very young children who were both with her when she died. Nora Pryba. She was a breast cancer survivor. Nora was a godmother. Whitney Wade. Whitney was the mother of five beautiful children. And Sarah Schulte. She was actually due to receive an award from her employer the same day that they learned of her passing. All taken too soon, but their lives will not be in vain. Their memories inspiring survivors to stay strong. That's why I went through my journey in order to be able to stand and speak for that next woman that's out there that's suffering. There is a better life. There is something better out here. As a mother, it's never too soon to teach your children about the reality of domestic violence. Because I don't want her ever to be weak. I want her to be strong, to defend herself, and to be happy. Because she deserves to be happy as all the other women outside. Community members and survivors are urging anyone and everyone to help save a life and speak up if you know domestic violence is happening in your home or someone else's home. And there are several groups in our area willing to help you. I'm Roxanne Elias, uh, live in um, studio. Roxanne Elias. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.